Okay guys, so me and Mom are just having a walk on the lovely seafront. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, someone's always got a room in the moment. We've got a few bars here as you can see. Uh, what's that called? The Craft Bar Tapas Restaurant. Uh, we'll talk, look at the front in a second. One second guys. Oh, sorry. It's so chilled. But considering Benny Dorm is like 10 minutes from here, this is nice. It's not like nice to the point of like, you know, I don't know, some people might not like it, but I quite like this. It's nice and chilled. I mean, you can walk at night and not have to worry about anything. And look, we're at the seafront, as you can see. Look at the degrees in a second. Let's have a look. It says that 20. Oh, you just missed it. Hold on, guys, one second. One second. We'll see you in a sec, hold on. 22 degrees. For a nighttime stroll, that is not. Mum's happy as well, so that's all that matters. And you're done, but hey, what can I say? Um, I don't think, yeah, obviously I know it. What happened is when I was leaving the apartment, I was getting everything out of the apartment, and I said, yep, I need to get more. I forget that because I wear it at the airport. And I still got it on by accident. I was like, oh crap, I still got that on. Walking in the bathroom, I was looking at me like, huh, what's he got this on for? To be honest, it makes me proud. It makes me proud to have hidden disabilities, so it's all good. We're just going to go for a little walk. Apartment's like 10 minutes away from here, so uh, we've had a bit to eat from Cerritos. I don't know if you've seen the last video, but if you haven't, please do feel free to check it out. If you have not subscribed, uh, feel free to check, uh, check us out and, you know, subscribe to us. And when I say check us out, I don't mean, like, in a perverted way. I just mean literally check us out, like, on YouTube or... Facebook or whatever you find us on. Knowing some people, they might even find me on Tenry from Cupboard. But just saying. I become somewhat famous on there, but uh, not for the right reason. But you know, everyone's different. But um, <sighs> anyway, let's get back to the French. Let's not big up any of the channel because we're not here for that. We're just here because I want to make mum happy by taking her for a nice walk on the beachfront. Bring us memories of granddad because. As you guys, it's been a year since my granddad has left us. Not literally, not, not like, you know, as in like literally, what's my word when you sit here? He passed away, basically. He passed away last year. It's been one year, so we just thought, you know, we wanted to bring her here and, you know, just, yeah, I'm not going to go and do it to yourself because she's right there. And I'm going to keep her company now, guys. I'm going to cut the camera for a few minutes, all right? Peace. Okay, guys, so... While we're walking, Mum would just notice this hotel. As you know, Mum's partially sighted, so she can't see as far. Um, but that's, that's another story. We don't need to explain any disabilities on this channel. But, God, I need another haircut. What's going on? Anyways, um, this is one of the most beautiful hotels I've ever seen in Albia. Look at that. Wow. Oh, look, I see the lift going on. Oh, the firework for a second, but... Wow, look at that. So you'll get a lot of like um, companies that do pickups at hotels and they'll say, oh, we'll pick you up from here. Like, as an example, if you say, you know, if you, I don't know, like a, you've got a, let me think, we had a, tra we had a transfer, that's it. We had a transfer a while ago uh, when we was last in our beer and they said to us something along the lines of, we'll pick you up, I think behind the Cactus Hotel or something like that. Or something on the main road, I don't know, something like that. But just as an example, they'll they'll normally say to you that where they'll pick you up from. And they'll normally pick you up from a big hotel that is somewhat well known. So at least it makes it easier, um, you know, so you know the location. So Hotel Cactus, I think that is one of the pickup zones. Um, there's another pickup zone straight down there and take a right. And uh, that's another pickup zone there. Uh, again, I know the area quite well, well, somewhat well. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's just so chilled out. Completely different to Benidorm, I can tell you. And the pubs here, I did ask what time they close. The cheapest place I found for a, found for a beer was 250 in our beer. For our beer, that's probably the cheapest you're going to get. Possibly. However, this is one side of our beer we've still got the other side which we're not going to go tonight me and mum are going to have a nice walk there tomorrow hopefully find a few new people to talk to 
it's a bit more lively in the morning, but not again, it's not like Benidorm, so just don't expect things like that. What's going on here? Oh, there's still people. Oh, they're actually packing up. Oh, okay. So they're actually closing quite late. That's quite interesting. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Hello. So as you can see, there's actually another bar here. That's another bar. There's only two people there, but this is what I like things like this. I just like a nice, quiet, chilled up. Oh, and they're actually open as well. Oh, there's actually a few more people. They're actually open, which is great. So it's just a nice, quiet, chilled location. I love this place. This looks really nice. Wow, it looks really good. Wow. I'll have to check it out tomorrow, definitely. And there's some chilled out. I hope I don't get them for copyright on that one. Right. I think this is pretty much the end of it now, guys. So, um, we stayed at the apartment. I'll tell you where we stayed. Um, we've stayed in this... Oh, we've stayed in this apartment here, me and my mum. We've stayed in the one behind. So, yeah, so what we're going to do is me and mum are now going to head back. It's a nice little walk. We've digested a few calories, especially after that a nice meal we just had at Sarita's. So, a big shout out to Sarita's. Thank you very much for looking after us. Good evening. When I started this, yeah. realize that's when I started this. So some people, you're gonna have a lot of locals coming here, so. <laughs> right. One second, guys, I'm gonna walk. These people are just having a normal, nice, chilled out walk. They're not overly drunk, they're just chilled. Which is nice. They've just come from that pub over there, so it's more good. <sighs> hey guys, just got back in the apartment now. Me and Mum are exhausted. I'm not as tired as she is, but. Yeah, what a stressful day. But we're in our beer, we're happy. Mom's happy, that's the most important thing, that's really all that matters. You know, at the end of the day, I don't really care as much about myself as I should because it, it's just the feeling that I have, especially my mental health and how things are. I've always cared about others a lot more because it's medicine to me. To make others happy makes me happy. Mum's just gone to the toilet. I'm absolutely bursting, but I said, Mom, you go first, it's okay. Ladies first anyway, whether she's sitting down, whether she's walking past me. Yeah, I've got a few things on my mind mentally, so um, I want to make sure Mum gets a bit of rest, and then it's 12 a.m., so I might head out, then I just go to, go to the bathroom first because I'm bursting, and then I want to head out for a bit of a walk. A few bars are open till half two in the morning, so that's the latest at the Cozier, by the way, so... It's not a big place, it's not really full of alcoholics and stuff, but yeah, it's not really party central, but it's nice, you know, it's, it's quite laid back and chilled. So, anyway, guys, mum's at the toilet, so I'm going to use the toilet, I'll be right back in just a moment.